I am so very proud of our school and the kinds of things that we are doing here. And what I love about this is that we can all come together and just have such a wonderful celebration of who we are, where we were, where we've been, and hopefully people will remember um, where we were going from here. And I also just want to let you know that we are so appreciative of all the support that you give us each and every day out there in the community. And for the kinds of help that you may not even know that you're giving us by a kind word, by a kind thought, by a kind deed, such as you do when you work with our students. So once again, thank you so much for coming. And I, I do want to thank our athletic director, Leslie Farmer, for her absolutely wonderful coordination of this and congratulate Ms. Mead, Mr. Forcier, and Mr. Bosa, who unfortunately couldn't be here. And, and thanks for being role models for the students who will walk past you day after day after day for many years to come. Thank you again. People are who you are and all the people that I've touched and they've touched me throughout my life, have been all been a part of this honor that, I, that I'm getting today. And I want to thank uh, Leslie and the committee for all they've done, and I want to congratulate Jojo Mead and John Boza. And uh, I'd like to also mention a couple other people that are here today that I graduated with at uh, Nam Arsenal here. He was on the team of 1958, uh, Doug Fish, and uh, last week we had three others that would have been here today, but they were here last week, but they couldn't make it today. Uh, the two Fitzgerald twins and Noel Dadney. And we also had three other people that have passed away on our team. That all of these people should be uh, uh, congratulated for what they did at Keene High. Doug Wilkes. Leroy Borden and Howard Kaiser, who passed away uh, way back. Uh, he was a helicopter pilot over in Vietnam, and he was killed uh, doing a suicide mission. And uh, I want to thank all my family and all my friends here today. And anyways, thank you for coming. recognize a couple people here that that uh, have really done an outstanding job for Keene High School back in my class and one of them was Clinton Pete Fletcher over here he was undefeated where's Mr. Fletcher right here come on up don't be camera shy Today's not the day. Pete was undefeated from his freshman year to his senior year in cross country in the state of New Hampshire. And also was right up there in the New Englands. And also in track in the spring, he was a miler. I don't know if you were you undefeated in the mile too, Peter? Or? No, I ran a 429 in my senior year. Yeah, but anyways. He was undefeated in cross country, which is really outstanding, being a, only a freshman all the way through. And also Bob Loren here, who was uh, the high jump. Uh, he won the state in the high jump that year. Yep. And I'd also like to, I have three other people here. Norm Asno, Stan Lucia, who's my brother-in-law, and Ralph Casta. They're all recipients of the Shabby Award in high school.
Four gentlemen, the Sharby folks first, okay? Luke is getting in the middle. Get 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 in the middle. I'll orchestrate pictures. I know how to do Actually, we lost every game that sophomore year, and then we stuck around together, all of us, and by the time we were seniors, we ended up going undefeated, so. And Wes, we had one of the best coaches as far as going off from football now, but Jack Mays was really number one as far as I'm concerned. And we had good coaches in football, too. Go ahead, no. I'll let you. Hey, you said all. Hey, come on. <laughs> I'm the guy that never used to say anything years ago. <laughs> but I've learned you don't go anywhere by not talking. You know. Well, this was this whole thing was very nice today. Yeah, it was. It's only been like over 50 years. I was in the. My name is Peter Forcier, and this is a gathering of the football team of nine, actually the undefeated state champion team of 1958. Michael, good to see you. Did you just drift in or you've been here? Oh, well, it looks like my Wadsworth, and every good team needs a good spectator. Hello, glad to be with everybody. I'm Dave. I live in Buffalo now. Um, I was with these guys as a teammate through my junior year, then my father's job moved us to Long Island, New York, and I kind of missed out on all the big celebrations, but that's always been a regret. But I'm happy to be here, see all the guys, and uh, I'll pass it on to Leo. I'm Leo Druin. I'm in Walpole, and I was a freshman when they won that 58 championship. So I kind of sneaked in. I'm really, you know, not with a class, so, you know, always a little behind. The kid, you're the kid. <laughs> and Leo was the only freshman on the team. Yeah. And I'm John O'Brien from Orford. And I was a sophomore on the team, and it's a memory I'll never forget, and I'm sure everybody else feels the same way. It's been 54 years since uh, we've had an undefeated state championship team, and we're here. We're the ones. <laughs> I'm Bernie Fitzgerald. I'm from Burlington, Vermont. Had the pleasure of being with these guys from our freshman year through our senior year, although I was in Florida my sophomore year in high school. I had the fortune of having my twin brother on the team. Uh, I was the right guard, he was the left guard. It's a memory that uh, we'll live with forever. My name is Bob Laurent. I live in uh, Westford, Vermont. And like David down there, if David was the number one fan, I was the number two fan. <laughs> But Dave and I did all the things part of the class, so we have our memories also. Hi, I'm Will Ashworth. Uh, I'm from Concord now. Um, I lived in North Dakota and Idaho. Been around the country a little bit. Uh, enjoyed Idaho very much. The fellow sitting beside me, who you'll hear from in a minute, he enjoyed Idaho equally as well. Uh, I was a running back. I was a junior at, at the time when we won the championship. I'm Norm Arsenault, and I live in Granville, Vermont now. And uh, I certainly remember just about everything about the 58 team. Um, 
We're very proud of what we accomplished then. It hasn't been matched since then. And uh, not that we would deny anybody the opportunity to <laughs> equal our record. In fact, we'd root for them. However, it hasn't been done. <laughs> so it was a highlight of my life to play with these guys on the team and accomplish what we did back in 1958. I'm Noel Dardney. Uh, I moved over to Pine Plains, New York back uh, around 1971. And like everybody else, I have very fond memories of, of this team and what we accomplished then. The fellow next to me is Mike Saunders. We held up the right side of the line. <laughs> hey, what about me? <laughs> I'm Mike Saunders oh, from there? Keene. Mike Saunders from Keene. And uh, I tell people that uh, we played three years of football. Most of these guys here played three years. And we had two perfect seasons. And, in, in of course, the one we're celebrating today is the... Uh, the most notable, that was in 58, when we won every game. But there was another one in 1956 when we lost every game. <laughs> and let me tell you how sweet it was to go from one season to the next. It was really great. That was depressing. I'm Bill Huntley. I live in uh, Westmoreland, New Hampshire. And I was a junior on the 58 team, played left guard. And uh, my brother over here, Doug Fish, played right guard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Doug Fish. I still live in Keene. And uh, my years playing football with the high school, uh, I credit for a lot of the judgment of things that I did right in the rest of my life <laughs> between then and now. <laughs> but uh, uh, it meant a lot to me, uh, the association with these people and the coaches. And that's about it. My name is Peter Forcier, and uh, I was the left tackle on the team. And I played right side of a guy that was, was fortunate to play with was Howard Kaiser, who was killed over in Vietnam. He was a helicopter pilot. On one of his suicide missions, he was killed over there. And there's also two other players that aren't here today that, that uh, have passed away. Uh, Leroy Borden just passed away here. Uh, month, a little over a month ago, and Doug Wilkes passed away a couple a couple years ago. But anyways, it was fun playing with all these people, and like somebody here was saying, we were, our sophomore year, we were outscored uh, 297 points scored against us, and only 74 points we scored. <laughs> and our senior year, we were undefeated, and we outscored the teams that we played, 228 to only 64 points was scored against us. And also another thing that I think we all should remember is that we beat Brattleboro that year, who were state champions in Vermont. And at halftime, we were behind 20 to 6. And in the second half, when we got a butt kicked by our coach, at halftime, we outscored the other team 28 points to nothing in the second half. So I think that was quite an accomplishment from all, all the people on this team. And like I say, it's nice for all of us to get together. We try to do this as much as we can. And anyways, we got a good turnout here tonight, and I hope that Keene High School wins tonight. Anyways, they got a good team, but they're playing the number one team in the state right now. So let's, let's all uh, root for them. Uh, if they win, they'll probably win the state championship. So, anyways, what time's kickoff? Kickoff time is 7 o'clock.
never lost actually a dual meet all his time in high school. So that was uh, one of the big things. And we had champions in cross country, football, and track that year. And we were runner-up in basketball and baseball. So I'd say that's not too bad for a high school class that year. But uh, some of the things that uh, I reminisce about a little bit is um, we had, uh, we'd have a game, we'd finish the game, and uh, we would have a snake dance down through the uh, streets of, uh, the main street of uh, Keene. Uh, the police were actually in favor of that. We would have the band members, they would play, and uh, the rest of us would just kind of hop in line and snake dance down through the... Some of these types of things, uh, I'm sure today they don't probably. A snake dance is a, um, is, all, is, is the fans have come from Alumni Field and they have come into town and the band got in, in and were transported in. They played different marches and things like this nature, but then what we would do is we would snake our way down through Main Street and then we would turn around and then come back up Main Street, go around the square and then just disperse. And uh, we talk about, you know, on different corners or whatever. A lot of people don't even remember that there was a there was an Emmons ice cream shop, coffee shop. That used to be a big hangout for a lot of us. Uh, another one that a lot of people don't probably remember if you if you had a car, you maybe went out to the Creamery, which was a, which was west west of uh, was out in West Keene, anyways. Uh, Mackenzie's is another one. Uh, so these were these were little hangouts where we would uh, just sit around and, and say a few words, have have a probably a Coke and a, and French fries and a lot of ketchup. 